Dude, unreal. Celebrities, take note. Hey folks, Dr. Mike here for RP Strength. I've been a professor of sport and exercise science for some time. I'm a competitive bodybuilder and Brazilian Jiu Jitsu grappler. And I've been, well, talking smack about other people's workout routines for quite some time on this channel. We've had a lot of big names pass through, but there is only one big name that we really never got a chance to critique. It's the biggest name of them all. That's right, you, the viewer. Our wonderful audience, we asked, you answered, you submitted a ton of videos of your lifting, and now we're gonna critique you guys. It's just viewers that submitted their videos. Some of these should be interesting, some of them should be fun, some of them should be terribly atrocious. And here comes my preamble. It's all jokes all the way down the line. So don't you go getting offended, all for the lols. And if you get offended, well, I don't know. Do we have a legal department, Scott's video guy? I'm sure we do. JK, all freedom of speech. Anyway, let's see if we can uh, get some good critiques going. I'll try to get a little bit of information and confirm what is good, uh, critique what maybe can be improved. And again, it's all jokes. So when I start talking that shit, it's all fun. You're in on the joke. Three, two, one, action. Ah. Okay. So the first thing I can tell is the feet are not planted on the ground. And that means that overall force, power production, and motor unit muscle recruitment is going to be substantially lower than it could be, which means if uh, this fine gentleman, <laughs> and, uh, look a little closer, had his feet planted, then he would probably be get better, getting better results. Now, he may be suffering from a terrible syndrome that afflicts, afflicts even folks such as myself. Short King disease. Many times, my little teeny dang dangly feet uh, don't even reach uh, the bottom of the the floor from the bench, and then you just kind of had to do what you got to do. But if you can tuck them under the bench, if you can solidify your feet in any kind of way, that's going to be really good. Also, you guys probably knew this already, but right now I sit in this chair, my feet are not touching the ground. And you know what it feels like? It feels grand. I'm like Peter Pan, except I'm also not around to be... No, yeah, Peter Pan wasn't allowed to be around children, I don't think. Um, what a weird guy. He's chronologically 40, but still 10. I look like I'm 80, but I'm the height of a 10 year old. Anyway, let's see what else is going on here. Full range of motion, eccentric control, chest stays nice and high. I can't, the, the legs are so distracting. They're just doing the dangling. Uh, and they're doing the dangling because they're adjusting for body position, but unfortunately that means you're losing some power production and some uh, decreased ability to contract all of the muscles, and thus you do miss out on some hypertrophy, leaving your legs up like that. If you ever see someone bench pressing with their knees in the air, it's not the best way to train. But the rest of this movement gets a very, very high marks. Scott, what is this? Okay, so at this point I'm just hoping he doesn't get hurt. or. If he's real serious about this, I'm really hoping he gets hurt. So we got a unicycle. Is that what you call it? Yeah. I actually have a patent for a unicycle that has no seat. Mm. But it does have a handle that goes up. A variety of attachable inserts are purchasable for an extra charge. The unicycle that you can really connect with. I mean, like, this is dumber than when I was a kid. Just the stupidest rocks thing to do. Point one. Point two, this is impressive as If I tried this, not only would I fall on my ass and kill myself, but also I don't know if I'm so strong that even if I had the balance requisite dialed in, I could do meaningful reps with a plate on a side. Dude, most people in the gym legitimately cannot do this shoulder press seated in a chair. And this motherfucker is doing full ROM presses on a unicycle. If that's not a flex, I don't know what is. Ladies, if this man has a I'd be running right now out of the door to find him. Is that a lot? Is that, can we say that, Scott? Or is that making the other cut? Anyway, typically guys have c**ks. Ladies, just letting you know. I can already tell. Scott, you can let me know if, uh, if I'm wrong here. This guy is going to do brutal shit and he's here for the pain. That's exactly why I picked him. You nailed it. Oh, man. How did I know? 
how did I know? First of all, very few people with that foot stance will use the belt squat. If you're using a belt squat with that foot stance, you've been on Team Full Rom too many goddamn times and you're a masochist. Another thing is his knees are coming forward across his toes. You know somebody's in the pain. Dude, the rebirth. Unreal. Unreal. And you know he wants it because he's at it again. Most people, including myself, after that rap would be like, F that. <sighs> smoke a cigarette, just leave the gym. I smoke in the gym, really. This guy wants the pain and he is going to be getting more and more jacked. He's already jacked. I don't want to be like, guy, you're playing jack. You don't need to do this to yourself. His response would probably be like, ah, and I just run away scared. Good God. This guy's my hero. That pause, that pause at the bottom. Scott, this is a lot more fun than reviewing celebrities. Yeah, yeah. I sure hope this video does well so we can do a few more of these. It'd be like, celebrities, take note. Simao Lameiro, PT. I assume he's Brazilian uh, or at least Portuguese. This guy's the f***ing man. I would follow him if you want to know what true f***ing, I don't know what this is. The slowness. The depth, the pause, the technique, the intensity. Guys, this is all the f***ing engineers that make the app and all the people at RP and Jared and Mike and Crystal and Scott the video guy. We all jump on top of ourselves and we launch one thing into the atmosphere as a representation for everything good we've ever done. It's that guy doing that exercise right now. Holy f***. No. No. Okay, we rack. Oh. Gold standard. Ladies, take your ass probably to Brazil. It's nice there anyway. This man has a piss. Find it. Right now. Holy shit. <laughs> Viking Hill certainly is a man that does not need others for pleasure. If I could get in that position, I'd never leave the house. And it looks like he's at home, which makes a lot of sense. No. Whoa. I want this guy to be on social media, like famous and shit. And someone's like, what are your favorite go-to triceps movements? He's like, well, um, my favorite movement's a little tough to pull off. Like, is that because you need a lot of strength? He's like, yeah, that too. Let me demonstrate. People are like, Oh, I see. Also, he's looking directly into the camera. I now feel yeah, that I have a personal relationship with Mr. Viking Hill. And, um, man, I, uh, it's a good relationship, too. He touched his head on the ground. Holy f***ing shit. If this guy is not training for the Give Yourself a Blowjob Championships of the World, I have no idea what he's doing with his life. If someone was like, all right, I have a billion dollars, Mike. And I'm like, okay, what do I do for it? I'm getting my lip gloss going. They're like, do that. I'm like, uh, mm, uh. There are many different variations of belt raises. Oh, do we have a narration? This one is, yeah. It's instructional. Thank you, Zach. Each one hitting the front, side, and rear delts. Great front delt exercise. One of the best. You guys will see he's turning his palms up, exposing the vector of the front delt. It's a super crazy full range of motion. Love, love, love. Around the world primarily hit the side delts. False. They hit primarily the front delts. That's because you turn the palms up. If you turn the palms down, you guys will notice all of a sudden, the vector is more side delt. If you turn the palms up, it's much more front delt. You can just see it right there. Front delt contract. Take your sets to or near to failure. Great advice. And this is why I rarely count my reps. My body lets me know when I'm finished. Yeah, that's not a bad way to go about it. However, your body isn't directly talking to you. It gets filtered through your mind. And if you have 14 reps from last week, this week your body, quote unquote, which is your mind, might just bitch out on you and say, yeah, 12, that's close to failure. And that's maybe all you, quote unquote, had. But if you anchor your expectation in the fact that it was 14 last time, and I must get 15 this time, using the RP Hypertrophy app. There is no avoiding hard training if you want to grow. But if you want to grow the most, your training needs to be hard and smart. RP Hypertrophy app will make sure you're progressing on track 
monitoring and adjusting your workout at all times. So for all that work you're doing, you can be sure you're getting the best results. Then you have a goal to hit, and maybe you'll fall short, but you probably won't. If you periodize correctly, like you can through the RP Hypertrophy app, then what's going to happen is you're going to have a landmark to hit, and you will push your f***ing body to hit that landmark. 14, this time, 15, next time, 16, the time after that. That's the kind of progression. If you just stop by feel, you're hardcore as f like Zach Smithy, probably is going to work great for you. This mother is trying at 110%. If you're having an off day, if you, you know, your your wife talked to you again about, look, like if you don't get that job promotion, I'm going to f***ing leave you. Scott, my wife's not around, is she? She already left. <laughs> oh, God. If you you know, have something else on your mind, busy day, kids, wife, family, work, et cetera, et cetera, uh, something like the IP Hypertrophy app to keep track of your reps and give you a little bit of a goal to shoot for every time could be a really wise move. Now, again, uh, folks like Zach, they may benefit from other features of the app, but they don't need the push because they're, well, quite by his face, I can tell he's psychotic in the best way possible. But uh, for many of us, yeah, it's a good idea to know where you're going with this stuff. Oh, my f***. Holy shit. That is clavicles to bar pull-ups. Scott, the video guy, does that look like underhand to you? Yeah. Holy f***ing ball sack. This bitch literally stopped playing around probably years ago because this is some serious ass shit. Oh, yeah. Eccentric control, dead hang. Oh, my God. These are killer. Holy shit. I mean, we're on rep number six or some shit here. This is freaky. 80s lifting lady just left like 99.999% of all women behind. In pull-ups, there's just no contest. This is absurd. This is showing off. This is like Superman kicking a f***ing child across f***ing Metropolis. This is wild. It's outrageous. And she's doing the f***ing bedroom. She comes out of the bedroom all pumped up and f***ing exhausted. The kids are like, what are you doing in there, mom? She's like, oh, yeah. <sighs> Your dad's on a business trip. Mom's working out. Later, they recall that event when they're like 18 and they're like, yeah, some guy definitely crawled out of the window the other way after mom came out. I know for a fact that's true. Turns out, nope. She just had a rack for pull-ups set up in her room. I love it. Holy shit. This is still happening. And she's still controlling the eccentric. This is grotesque. No fucking way. Oh, get out of here. Oh, get out of here. She's going to milk it. You're fucking kidding me. Dude, this is straight up like Wonder Woman type shit. This is like, this is wild. Scott, how many times have you seen this in the gym? Zero. How many times have you seen this with professional like lifters that we train? Zero. Also zero. This is wild. This is in its own fucking category. 80s lifting lady, you're doing the goddamn thing. All right. Mike, this guy wanted you to roast him, so. We're sure about this. He volunteered to be roasted. How? Okay. Peter McQueenie. Everything I'm saying is all love. It's all a joke. Okay? He was very self-deprecating. Amazing. Let's just get right into it. Peter, I don't need to roast you because, motherfucker, you've been around roasted food long enough. Look at the size of that gut. Jesus fucking Christ. You got a goddamn baby in there? You want to roast something? Take the roast duck out of that ass and eat it again like fat fuck you probably would. God damn it. Is that Scott? Is that what we want? He's like, he I, seems like he's a good sport. I think he, he seems like he has like a British name and the, the English humor is the best in the world. I, I Again, uh, Pete, we all boys. You feel me? My, I got a big, my gut's bigger than that. So, you know, you're, bitter, you're but a child to me. Right? He's like, man, Dr. Mike, I, I really thought you just roast my technique. Like, you're a bitch. You have no friends. You're balding. I'd say other things, but they're too mean for YouTube. All right. This is going pretty well, I think. I'm having a good time. If you guys want to see more of this video with unrated content and a bunch more other videos we publish every single week and tons per month on the member section, give a thought to joining our YouTube membership. It's just a little bit of money, but a lot of it goes to me and my fields of Lamborghinis. So click on the membership to buy that and see if you want more of this kind of content. Yeah. Yeah. RJ, we're not at the club, my friend. That is probably what you do to people at the club, isn't it? Let's find out how you're training for the club.
We got the pendulum squat. I've been waiting for this bitch. He even called her a bitch. My man. Oh, he's long legged. He has to go real deep. That sucks. Oh, that's deep. Twelve. Oh. Oh, hell yes. Hell yes, RJ. RJ earning that shit. Scott, how many politically incorrect references am I allowed to make here? Let's see how the first one goes. I would say, uh, typically I would say ladies, RJ's the man, and clearly he's earning that shit, so look him up. But then I heard a female in the back. I was going to say maybe that's his girlfriend. I don't know. Maybe it's just a random girl at the gym recording his phone. Then I was also going to say about something, the fact that young black males typically don't restrict themselves to one woman, which is just true. When you got swag, you got to spread it around. Let's see if we get banned for that one. RJ, get that shit. You're the man. Full hold, upright rows, grunge set, send it. By Crush Equity. Is Crush Equity a political statement against leftist policy? Or has nothing to do with that? Let's find out. Also, the haircut looks f***ing unbelievable. Get that shit, my friend. Yes. That all counts for hypertrophy, by the way. Every single growl. Maybe the leanest person we've ever examined on the channel. F yeah. F technique. F that shit. F equity, too. Hell yeah. Just moving weight around. I love it. Oh, yeah. Ladies. <laughs> do I even have to say it? Guys, listen. Overall, a couple things. Some of you have incredible haircuts. Some of you are just goddamn sexy, and you know who I mean. Some of you have more swag in your left toe than I have in my whole life. And most of you have unbelievable technique, and many of you have the kind of effort that just doesn't make any goddamn sense. Uh, Simao, I'm looking at you. I'd love to do this again. If you guys share this with your friends and family and have people click on it and like it and view it. And if it gets enough views, Scott, the ever greedy YouTube man in charge of my life and the YouTube channel will allow us uh, another episode of this. But if it doesn't do well, kiss this fucking series goodbye. That's right. The whole thing, the whole YouTube channel is gone. Anyway, that was fucking awesome. You guys are the shit. All criticisms and jokes made with love. And uh, hopefully if I see you guys in real life ever, we can also make love. No, no, wait. Yeah. Yeah, why not? All right. See you guys next time. All right. That was fun. Guys, this video right here, YouTube wants you to click on it. And by YouTube, I mean us, because you click on it and we make more money. It isn't money grand. I think Mr. Nick Shaw never pays me. See you guys next time.